All right, we have another beats code medium. Companies seem to love this problem. Uh, fine companies seem to love this problem. Uh, and it's the kth largest element in an array. So find the kth largest element in an unsorted array. We need to find the kth largest element in the sorted order, not the kth distinct element, okay? Whatever that means. Uh, so in this case, k is 6, we have this number. What's the sixth largest number in this array as it is right now? And that is 4, because if you go from 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. So I've counted 5 numbers, and number 5, the sixth number is 4. That's why we have 4 here. This uh, is the third largest number in this array, unsorted array, and it turns out to be 11 because we have 30, 1, 12, 2, 11, 3. So that's why we have 11 here. Fairly straightforward problem. What does the solution look like? Similar to the last one, we have a minimum heap that we set to a size, size of k, whatever k is. In this case, k is 3. So we're looking for the third largest number in this array so the first seeded right with the first three car three three numbers in the minimum heap so the smallest number is on top and every time we now go look through the rest of the array and every time we see a number bigger than what's on the root of our minimum heap we kick it out pop it and push that number in there so in this case two is going to be in there one is going to get kicked out here 11 is bigger than two so two is going to get kicked out again 11 is going to be there. The heap property is maintained. So for, for those three numbers, when 11 is here, 5 is the smallest. So it becomes the root of the heap. Same 9 is going to kick 5 out. 7 is not going to kick 9 out. 30 is going to kick 9 out. Now 11 is the smallest thing among these three. And 40 is definitely going to kick 11 out. Then we have 12. We've gone through the whole, the whole heap. So we can just return the, the root and we have our value. Now, what does this look like in code? In code? What does this look like in code? <sighs> so we pass in the numbers, unsorted list of numbers, the K, the position we're looking for. We initialize our minimum heap over here. Now I'm not gonna go into the details, implementation, implementation details of a minimum heap or priority queue, because a lot of languages come with this is included in a standard library and there are packages you can install that would give you that uh, that feature set but you can feel free to look at the implementation in the link to the github so we have our heap our, our priority queue we're going to add the first k elements to the heap so in this case our k was three so the first three elements to the heap that's what this does then we look through the remaining elements in numbers so we start from k and while we still have something in the loop check if what we're looking at is bigger than the element at the root of the heap if it is get rid of it remove it and add the current elements what will what turn out to be bigger to it so in this case we're checking if two is bigger than one yes it is kick one out put two in there that's what this does and we do it for the rest of the list and when we're done, just peek, return what's at the root, see if any, that is all. Now, let's look at time complexity. So the first loop inserts k elements in the mean heap, which takes k times log of k time. In the worst case, in the second loop, we may be pushing n minus k elements onto the heap, where n is the size of the input array. Each push and pop operation takes log of k time, true. So n minus k elements being pushed into the result gives you these, this good thing right here. Overall, time complexity is therefore k o of k plus n minus k times log of k, which simplifies to um, n log k, I would say. Or no, 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 that's not it. n minus k times log of k. So n minus k has a chance of being larger than k so you can drop that and put that in there although i would just for simplicity's sake call this n log k honestly um 
and call it call it a day pretty much yeah worst case k becomes n anyway so it becomes like n minus n which is zero right and k is n so you have n log n pretty much in the worst case n log n because i don't know why they do this it's kind of weird space complexity is o of k because we only ever have k things in the heap that's all with this problem thanks for watching ciao